Do you think it's good if you're a feminist? I am a feminist. Oh. I think that women, in a sense, are becoming like far too independent, and in a way, it kind of diminishes the traditional male role. In a way. Thank God. And 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 no no no. But then it's actually causing some some interesting circumstances. I'm a spiritual being walking this earth in search of meaning. I'm somewhat of a hippie. If you're not able to stand out and be different, then you're not going to be able to make your way in life and what you want to do and put your imprint in the world. How's it going? Hey. How are you doing? I'm well in yourself. Oh, great. Great. What's your name, sir? Alex. Alexander. That's the one. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I just try to keep as healthy as possible. Okay, I'm still that? alive. You're, not... You're still alive. Yeah, you didn't die. It's fine. Yeah. That's some high quality H two O. Yeah, it's pretty neat, man. What are you looking for in a woman? Mostly getting to know another person. You know, I've got to that stage where it is about the other person. Yeah. More than anything else. Yeah, for sure. I believe that the way to live well is to have a holistic attitude. You want to make something that is sustainable. You don't want to burn yourself out, and you don't want to force things. You don't want to try something that's going to leave you unfulfilled. Walking her own path of discovery is 29-year-old copywriter Kelly. So since um, starting a journey of self-love in my life, I have started to look at for different things. I'm actually very passionate about holistic health and integrative nutrition. It's mind, body, and spirit. So it would be everything from relationships to what you eat, to the exercise you do, to um, spirituality, your career. And it looks at it as a holistic high graph. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Kelly. Yeah. Hey, Kelly. You're there. Your day's already arrived. Great way, my <sighs> Don't worry. In terms of a partner, I think I'm looking for somebody that is obviously compatible with me. We have similar interests or overlapping interests. We don't have to know uh, the same things or be interested in all the same things. Alex. Hey. Hi, Alex. How's it? Nice Kelly, to meet you. Kelly, nice to meet you. Awesome. Okay. Oh, goodness. What, what do you do? I'm in, I'm in copywriting, so okay. I do advertising. I mean, that's what I do for my day job. And then sure. I was working in a farmer's market on the weekends. So I was doing that just because I want to um, study nutrition, integrative nutrition. OK. What do you do? Well, I teach. Oh, awesome. Yeah, teach? mostly kids, um, like guitar, music. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you're a nutritionist? Yeah, I'd like to do eventually a career change. I want to do integrative nutrition to become like a holistic health coach. About six months ago, I was in a relationship. It wasn't a very serious relationship, but it ended badly, and I went to a place in myself where I really had to start an ev evaluating my life and evaluating my health and how I honored myself. Um, and that put me into a long journey of self-love. From that, I realized that this is what I want to help other people to do. I want to help other people bring everything into balance and you know, become the best them they can be, become happy. I went through a similar thing. Yeah. And um, funny enough, I uh, just decided to do something crazy. So mm. I joined all these groups and I started doing this authentic relating. And then next minute I was oh, cool. doing these dance classes. And then after that, I was interested in uh, permaculture. And then I was doing... Ah, uh, that's awesome. So, I mean, nowadays you won't find me without, without a kombucha in hand. Um, Good you know, gut health. Gut hey, health is... Gut health is what it's all about. Link to mental health. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. How's it? Hey. Good. Can I take you through to yeah, your table? Sure. Oh, yeah. Thanks. All right, let me get someone over to uh, assist you guys. Thank you. You don't mind if I take my glasses off, right? No, I mean, I probably look better. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried um, dessert and then mains? Like, go in reverse? I, oh, I do that at home. Is it? Yeah. Right. I was a, um, a vegetarian for a long time. OK. But I do eat meat now. Yeah. I was vegan last year. Yeah. Uh, every, every now and then I go vegan, and then I just eat a bit, big steak and forget about it. <laughs> wow, you're going to get so much mm. vegan hate from that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, you know, if you do something, you do it because, like, you want to do it, not because you want to be cool. No, totally. Um, I I was a vegan and I I was totally committed to it. And um, it is cool. But it, it is cool. Unfortunately, I was I was just going through some health problems that it wasn't really helping. Yeah. And I needed some. I just needed some animal. 
um, like it products. Happens. Yeah, it does it happen. Happens. Not yeah. everybody can be vegan, and and a lot of people do say that they can. Like everybody can, but it's not true. Well, it wasn't true for me. I will only speak for myself. Do you think it's good if you're a feminist? I am a feminist. Oh. Choose your words very carefully. I, 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 I might get attacked now, but um, well, uh, I think that women, in a sense, are becoming like far too independent, and in a way, it kind of diminishes the traditional male role. In a way, thank God. And, and and no, no, no. But then it's actually causing some some interesting circumstances. Like, um, a lot of women these days have lost some of their identity because they want to be a man. Because a feminist aren't, they're not girls. They've given up their role and they've become like men. And they're trying to dominate the world like men. That's what it means to be a feminist. And that's why you have this whole movement. But they're really ultimately just quite confused. Yeah. I mean, things are changing. Yeah. I mean, like, it's not, it's not how it was 50 years ago. Uh, there's a lot more leeway. And, you know. I think what I, what I, what I find fo like problematic is how you said mm. women are becoming too independent. <laughs> and too independent for who? Do you think that maybe a lot of women do more because some men don't do enough and they can only change their behavior, they can't change anybody else's behavior? I can say that for myself because, like, uh, a lot, a lot of self-respect and pride and, and, and strength in doing things like running up mountains mm. and just being very strong in my mind up here. And I feel that that is my, you know, that's my strong point. My emotions are not necessarily my strong point. Okay. Whereas I know that you're most likely much better with your emotions. Initially, I would assume that my mind is naturally more capable. I have to put that there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you have just, this is, wow. Um, I can't believe you just said that. I did. I'm like dumbfounded that you can be so like, like, I know, self-aware. Like, that's really quite hectic. Um, you really shouldn't go around saying that to people. Why not? Just because you're a man does not mean that you're smarter. Yeah, but I, think, a woman. I think naturally, you know, if... Because you're not smart enough to no, know no, not no, to have said no. that. I'm just gonna have another glass of water, please. All right, no dessert for you, sir. I'm good, thanks. All right, sir. thank you. So where are the bathrooms? Right? Bathrooms are that side, man. I'll be back. All right, cool. Hey, Cal. Charlotte. Yeah. It's fucking awful. What? He is, no. he brought up feminism, Charlotte, and he's talking about traditional like roles and how he doesn't oh. like um, how <laughs> how women are becoming oh, no. too independent. Ah. And I oh, my goodness. And I, no. think, I know. I mean, I'm looking for somebody that's conscious and aware. Hey, Alex. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, all right. And yourself? I'm very good. How's the day going? I think I've got some interesting conversation for, yeah, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the day. For the day, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. He told me that as a man, and as a woman, me and him, I would be better with like the emotional side and he'll be naturally better with intelligence. Like he's smarter than me. He honestly just said, because he's a man. So embarrassing. I can't, I can't. On paper, we do seem like we might be, be a match, but in, in person, no, not, not so much at all. So okay. let's change the subject. Okay, cool. Hmm. What do you like to... Do you watch anything? Do you like movies? Do you listen to music? <laughs> I do, I do. Um, oh, I found a really cool band uh, called Cigarettes After Sex. Oh, I do know them, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think a couple of things were on, like, the radio, like, recently. Really? Yeah, okay, I think so. That. very much a cash guy. I haven't, I haven't had a bank account for like a year and a half. Yeah? Mm. Everyone's after me. Is there going to be a second date? Can I go first? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, for me, I, I'm not going to say yes to a second date, just because I feel like our, our world views don't really align. I don't feel incredibly comfortable with some of the conversation that we were having. 
I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength, um, although she is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs> Thank you.